Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. I like your shirt. Thanks. Gulf Shores, Alabama. Leave only paw prints. <laughs> Candace is a. Uh, oh, we we are full time eBay resellers. So if you like watching that kind of content on YouTube, please consider clicking subscribe down below. Uh, add yep. over. Yep. <laughs> what you up to this morning, Candace? Um, I have a lot of Star Wars figures that they're worth like five dollars and under pretty much you know so what I'm doing is I'm lotting them up and I'm gonna run an auction oh we're doing an auction we haven't yeah. done one of those in a while it's been a while huh I know it's been a while it's been a while what do you what do you say you fell down <laughs> <laughs> oh. you know why you never lock your knees when you're standing at attention, Chewbacca. Oh, he He's did. not standing at attention. Wow. Jen Urso, get off of her. Okay. Okay. Get off of her. Who? Captain, Captain Phasma, Phasma. Yeah. which is also... Brienne of Toth. Yeah, Candace has been watching uh, Game of Thrones. Re Again. <laughs> Game of, probably for the third or fourth time. Third time. Third yeah. time, yeah. Uh, and it is time to pull some eBay orders. I think we got like 13 things going out. So let's get start. Let's get started. This aisle is getting clearer. That's good. Listing our way down the aisle. Oh, we uh, sold this Lego Star Wars Star Destroyer. This thing is cool. How many pieces is it? 423 pieces. Uh, it is new. This back flap here it's got the factory tape seals on it that's what a lego factory seal is it's just that tape like that uh it's got this piece of flap torn so but it's still sold for 99.99 plus shipping on top um candace have you seen the you haven't seen the titanic lego yet huh well i mean i saw it online it looks amazing yeah i, I, I ordered it for you for christmas oh good we, that would be fun to build that, I think. <laughs> the Titanic, it's so big. Hang on, I'm gonna show y'all real quick. This is the Titanic. This is on the official Lego site. And I'm trying to figure this out. I'm a little confused. It, like I said, it's an amazing set. It's got like, I can't remember how many pieces it has. It's crazy. 9,090 pieces. And this is a, this is not a small set. It's, it's a, the dimensions on there medium size set here 423 pieces that ship has like 25 almost well 22 or something uh times the number of pieces look 54 inches 54 inches uh long it says diameter but that's or depth be, that's got to be the length huh? i think it's it's depth the d is depth so 54 you, seven what is seven inches is there anything on there seven inches i bet it's 54 long height 18 inches oh they're saying it's seven inches wide yeah i think they got that wrong 54 inches would be how long was that four four That's and a half feet yeah i mean that is that is that would be a just amazing wouldn't it you'd have to set up a, a, if i built that i would get like a plexiglass type clear cover to put over it on top of a shelf yeah. So it wouldn't get dust all in everything. You build it wherever you're going to display it. Yeah, man, that is so cool. But here, here's the thing I thought was interesting. Uh, Pre-order the new Lego Titanic starting November 1st. Will ship from November 8th. Show them the price. And it is from Lego. It says $629.99. So according to this, you can't order it till November 1st. But if you look at Titanic Lego 10294, which is that set on eBay, there's 19 actives. And look, these people are buying these pre-orders for like around $900 to $1,000. Well, they, these aren't sold. Instead of waiting and going through Lego. Yeah, so Let's my question... Let's My question is, how are these people selling pre-orders? Yeah. If it isn't open to pre-orders yet, like I don't look, they've already sold some. Look, six fifty free ship. Well, that is that the same one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the same one. What? Eight ninety three. Look. Oh, uh, you know what? Go back up. It's gonna be. He's. They're probably gonna put it together and then sell it. 
Oh, display model pre-order. Oh, display model pre-order. Okay. All Maybe right. they're going to put it together and make a video on it or something. No, they got 24 available. I will receive inventory a week later on November 8th and will immediately ship to you. Okay, so these are these are probably stores, like you said, Candace. Yeah, on wholesalers. That have deals with Lego. Or retailers. I mean. The only question I'm I'm th the only question I have about that is if they are like authorized resellers of this product, then is Lego cool with them scalping the price like that? They must be. You know they watch us though. For authorized re, I mean, because like six six hundred and something is a lot of money already i don't know the whole thing is shady though because nobody has this thing in hand and nobody has actually made a pre-order unless maybe people are getting um unless, whole, unless wholesale orders LEGO from people, distributors unless the lego people know something we don't know like can are you not going to be able to pre-order it on lego yeah. they must have a limited quantity they must I know, but why would people buy it on ebay for more money i don't know that's what I'm saying. They're probably afraid the pre-order is going to sell out, and then they'll be just left. And they're then they're afraid the price is just going to go up once it's sold. The pre-order sell out. That's probably what they're concerned about. If you had like if you had a, a whole bunch of money, but I would be concerned that these people on eBay wouldn't get the damn yeah, what thing. If they don't get it? And then you'd have to. I mean, you get your money back, but you still wouldn't have the Lego thing. So, anyways, uh, yeah, all that to say, sold a Star Destroyer. All right, going to Seven Charlie, getting back to work. Seven Charlie, we sold a another little ridiculous, ridiculously small Barbie accessory. This is a box of Kleenex tissue, branded Kleenex tissue, fourteen ninety nine, plus shipping on top for that little guy. Sold two of these lighted sight pins for a bow for six something a piece plus ship and i put up let's see one two three four five six i put up six lots of audiobooks yesterday and I'm, my pricing strat is 350 a book plus shipping and I take these 1266 boxes and I stuff them with as many audiobooks as I can. In this case, it was nine books that sold for $31.49 plus media rate shipping on top. Went ahead and grabbed this off of 4F. This is a T Pain portable two in one speakers. I guess it. Um, I guess it like intensify the beats. Clip the speakers to your belt to take your sound on the go, intensify the beats and control your volume with the turn of a dial. Okay, so I was thinking, oh no, I was thinking it was a, like a voice changer thing, but I don't think it is. I think it's just speakers. Anyway, that sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Then from pocket four, we sold a Garandon long snout. Did you hand me that canvas? Oh, uh, can't get these people to stand up. What? I need number four. <laughs> you okay? Man, that's a big lot you're putting together. I think I might have some more than I must have shown. Hmm. Anyway, really this guy sold for um, $19.99 plus shipping on top. Maybe you can do two lots. That's a lot of stuff there. Okay, for Alpha, we have a Dr. Doom fig for Alpha. I'll probably have to go around the other side. Yeah, I do. It's a Dr. Doom fig, famous covers. It's got some kind of, I don't know if it has comic covers involved somehow or what. I don't even really look at it that close. Let's see, what is this? Okay, the figure is from the famous cover, I guess. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping on top. We're looking for 7C Bravo 12. Some more Barbie. This, sorry for the wind noise, y'all. Um, okay, it's not here, it must be in here. Yeah, here we go. 
812 right here this outfit here sold for 59.99 plus shipping on top it is a looks like it's complete very good condition but uh yeah the barbie clothes are just friggin' awesome nine charlie sold a sega genesis game over one so i'm gonna let candace say the name of this one what did we sell here fifa fifa we sold a fifa soccer 96 that sold for 5.99 plus shipping on top from joe drawer right here sold an ewok even though there was an ewok in here maybe there ain't And is there supposed to be a Ewok in here? There could be though. He's got so stacked up in here. Ah, here he is. I found him. Tebow. Uh, sold for $24.99 plus shipping on top. Same drawer. Sold a belt buckle. Just listed this yesterday, day before yesterday. One of the two. This right here. Strikeout at Accidents. Intel and TDC. Uh, that's for a chip fab in Arizona. Construction project. Ah, solid brass. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping on top. Paid $3 for that in a state sale. 10 Delta sold a World of Warcraft wax box here. Um, Magferodon's Lair raid deck. Like starter sets or something. No, special edition game extension. Is that the last one? No, I, th I think I have... We started out with 12 of these and they've all sold for either two and a quarter or some somewhere a little over 200 uh, that came in a big card buy I did for my guy and we've got one box left so it's always exciting that's sold overnight it's always exciting when those sell because it's just such like these are these are awesome sell overnight. It sold last night. huh Sold overnight sounds like you listed it yesterday and then it sold overnight. Oh, true. No, I listed it like uh, probably a year ago. No, I was working. I think it was, though. I was working in here. Were you? So maybe it was Around eight, December. nine months ago or something. Mm -hmm. But and anyway, two twenty-five plus shipping on top for that. And one more small thing. We got one big thing that I already pulled, but uh, sold... This is perfect because these things sell for $7.99 a piece. So somebody bought four of them, which that that is just that is just really good whenever you have low price stuff when you can sell multiples. Always kind of the plan anyway. So we sold this guy. Let me pull the rest. Okay, these are the four I pulled. Uh, four of these sold for $7.99 a whack plus shipping on top. And what I do whenever somebody buys like see because they paid shipping on each one of these uh, so what I'll do is I go in and I refund excess shipping um, I know a lot of people don't think you should <laughs> but uh, I do I do I think it's the right thing to do okay tiger drawer which is over here by Candace <laughs> wow you got tall you don't have to move well you can't get in there with me standing on the ladder well, I could have waited though. I wasn't trying to get you. Couldn't. Uh, you hear how sassy she is, yo? All right. This Mr. Fantastic. Which I wasn't called that. Mr. Fantastic. Sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. <laughs> Does it have to be said like that? How else would you say it? Say it. You say it. Mr. Fantastic. That's worse. Okay, just had another order come in. Maybe I'll list a few starting lineups. <laughs> oh, you dropped your glasses. Huh? What? I'm not. There we go. Oh, you're trying to take pictures. Oh. Oh, we've got a major traffic jam in here. All right. Just sold these audio books. Oh. Let's see if I can untangle here. There we go. Just sold these audio books for... 
$38.49 plus shipping on top. Another lot. So two lots have sold now. And we're officially in the profit on audiobooks because we were into that uh, and all of them for $36. Okay, I was a little too fast with these audiobooks. I already packed it and printed out the label. And then that same buyer bought another lot, which is great. Like, it's fantastic. Four alpha, lot B. This sold for 41 and change. There's 12 in here. So now I have to, um, now I have to void this label, pack these together. So I'll pr I might just tape them together and then, um, reprint another label and then I'll refund them a little shipping back. It is time for Q and A with Candace. <laughs> what was the do to do thing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like you were looking for an entrance. <laughs> yeah. Make an entrance. Go ahead. Man, that's appropriate. Your what? cold beer sign is all like, woo. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's when I was packing that big box a minute ago. I, I straighten this thing like at least once a week. Huh? Oh, I knock it over all the time. <laughs> I'm not Usually I knock it totally off and it's missing for months at a time. And then I go behind here and dig it out. But yeah, we y'all asked a bunch of questions. Um, and I picked out six for this video. There, there will be more later, but this is enough for this one. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, Mr. Cute Stuff. Ooh, don't call me that. This is a question from Mr. Cute Stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, y'all. Quick question. Hi. Hey. Hey, Mr. Cute Stuff. <laughs> I know that USPS priority is insured up to $100, and we all put additional insurance for anything above $100. But do you or would you insure anything in USPS first class? say above forty dollars thank you. What, do you what do you think i want to hear what you think i, I like i like hearing your perspective on questions just because we don't talk about a lot of this stuff i'm gonna say seventy dollars or more insured that that's your pain point yeah okay yeah everybody has a pain point like the the way i look at insurance i'm i do buy it sometimes i bought some insurance today on a big order i had going out uh because it was going media mail and media mail is a little sketch so i went ahead and just put the insurance on it just for the heck of it because it was a pretty a little pricier order um in general though you should not buy insurance right unless it's going overseas yes that is a case where if it's something a little pricey and it's going international first class package which does not have insurance i would recommend maybe thinking about insuring that uh first class package forty dollars i'm gonna roll the dice and He's see what happens self-insured self-insured you could also call it self-insured because the way i always look at it if you ship say a hundred forty dollar packages and you lose one out of a hundred, which I think would probably be more than average to lose one percent of them, or to have it get damaged or something. It also depends on like what kind of stuff it is. If it's like all breakable stuff, well, maybe you do. Uh, but like, let's say you lose one of these forty-dollar items out of the hundred you sell, then now you're down forty. But then, if you would have insured all hundred of those, and it would have cost, say, let's. 250 i don't even know what it costs let's say it costs two dollars to insure each one then you would have spent two hundred dollars and gotten back 40 so you would have paid 160 dollars for peace of mind that's some expensive peace of mind in so that that example is why in general insurance is a bad deal but in some cases it's a good deal like expensive stuff you want to insure and what does expensive mean it depends on you like how much stuff do you sell what's your volume the more volume you, d you do the more you can afford to self-insure and not buy insurance from usps because the bad transactions will just get lost in the noise and you'll just cover it the cost of doing business or whatever i think so 40 dollars stuff i almost never insure 40 dollars stuff um it now on some expensive action figures like when candace is listing them We've had this conversation where if it's worth more than we've, what was it, like $70 or $60 or something. Yeah. 
instead of shipping first class, I'm like, okay, do a uh, padded flat rate instead. And then I'll put it in a box and I'll slide it in that pad padded flat rate. And now you're getting the insurance and you're getting a better class of service that probably has a good chance of getting there faster. Uh, so we do do things like that sometimes. I Like, would you rather spend $4 plus a couple of bucks insurance to come up to around $6 or would you rather just spend the $8.49 and get padded flat rate? You know, and I, a lot of times the answer for me is to go ahead and ship a priority. Now, um, going, this is a big question. This is a bigger question than I thought. Let's say something's $150. And you get a hundred dollars insurance included. Do I insure? Do y'all you, you think I'm going to insure that extra fifty? Probably not. If it gets up to two hundred, maybe I insure it. Right? It's like and depending on how fragile the item is. It, there's a lot of factors, mm -hmm. and like and right now, another factor to consider right now when doing insurance, um, especially coming into fourth quarter. USPS can become very unreliable during the fourth quarter, especially on, I've noticed, like first class packages during the rest of the year, it seems like they typically travel at the same speed as priority, even though they don't advertise that it really does. Um, and even, even media rate will usually go fairly quickly, but you find that once they start getting like overwhelmed with packages, they start leaving the first class maybe it'll take a, a a week or 10 days instead of the two to three days you're used to because they're giving priority to the priority mail. So the priority is going to take precedence and anything else that don't fit on the truck or the plane, it'll have to catch the next one. So think about things like that too. This answer is going to be different for everyone because we all have different risks risk tolerance we all have different amounts of volume we do we all have different amounts of money that we consider a lot of money um, so and we all have different experiences like with our local post office even like if, if that's if there's a, like a major problem at your local post office and you know there is well maybe you should either try and get around that local post office or make sure you insure more because it's a higher risk and maybe it makes more sense so i don't know uh, what do y'all think in, in the comments? Uh, what's your view on postal insurance? When do you buy it? What's your pain point? Yeah, like that. Candace is just making fun of me for getting excited about insurance question. <laughs> I'm like, aren't you excited? She's like, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's next? From Panzer. Panzer, longtime viewer. Great video, Lonnie and Candace. Some good questions. I have a question. Have you many pairs of jeans from the big jean haul and did you get many returns due to the wrong size loving the content i'm assuming that's the belk, yeah the belk buyout or else it's called stage here yeah. well no it's not belk is it it wasn't belk it was stage it was stage yeah. it was stage and it's called a bunch of other things around the country uh we bought over two i want to say it was like 225 pairs and i'm not really certain because we've been putting Man, I used to have jeans all over the place. Like, literally, like, I would have shelves full of jeans. We had 225 pair all tucked away. And now, um, after almost a year, probably, we're down to... I mean, I, I think I might have three pairs of jeans left out of that stuff. So, it's all sold, basically, more or less. It's all sold. And... Candace is trying to find jeans on here. Okay, so we just did a search for jeans and we have one, two, three pairs of Levi's left. Style required, type required, style required. So it may even not be showing these. Yeah. They're on, because they're on like pretty good sale too. So I'll have to. Yeah, we need to go ahead and look at that. Yeah, so out of 200, about 225 pairs, we have three left. So basically they all sold. How many returns did we get have out of that? I want to say we had three or four. It was not that many. It was not. I think didn't I do? I did measurements on all of them, didn't I? Or did I? I don't. That was before my time. I know. I don't. Before <laughs> her time in the shed, we worked together. <laughs> no. Okay. So yeah, this is how I listed it. I just did the size that was on the thing, 
It was on the tags or whatever. The tag shows the uh, inseam and everything anyway. Yeah, but a lot of times it doesn't exactly match what the measurements really are, though. Um, and yeah, new with tags, please see photos. There we go. There's a good description for y'all. And um, killing it. Yeah, three, I would say three to four. Three, three to four um, returns. That's about it. Uh, it. Now, a lot of them were men's jeans. And I think that matters. I think you do. You will get more questions and you will get more returns for women's clothing than you do men's. So, like, if I ordered a pair of jeans and it doesn't fit me right, I figure I just gained a few pounds and it's my fault. That's the way I feel about it. Oh, I'll... I'll I'll either grow into them or I'll lose a little so weight and I'll wear them. Keep them and oh yeah, I would not even. I probably wouldn't never even think about returning them. I'm, oh man, I'm a big dummy. I ordered the. I probably ordered the wrong size or something like that, and then I just keep them or whatever. I don't actually buy clothes anyway. But yeah, that that deal ended up being really good. Alrighty, next question is from Amherst Burger Picker. <laughs> Burger Picker. Burger Picker. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lonnie. This question's for you, Lonnie. Hey, booger. I mean, burger picker. How you doing? Where is Pip Dog? I hope he's okay. We traded him for a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> the witch wanted a cat instead. How is Pip Dog? You want to talk? Hey, Lonnie. Where is Pip Dog? You, I'll have my assistant answer this one. <laughs> Pippin pretty much despises coming into the shed. He comes out here gets his treats and then he's ready to go back to the house yeah he just st look he would stand he would come over here he'd stand right here and he would stare he at me there's a hole in you he would stare at me. <laughs> and uh, i could feel it like even <laughs> I, I would uh turn and he'd be look looking right at me and I, i'd try and look away <laughs> hoping he didn't notice that i noticed him looking at me and i was like it's just really uncomfortable he didn't like it out here he'd rather just go sleep all day so, yeah. I, mean, I we thought he'd prefer to be out here with Candace. Yeah. And he doesn't. Because she he he would if she would have a recliner and he could get up on her lap. But that's not he the likes case. To be, you know, he likes to be under the blankets. So yeah, he likes when I'm in the recliner and get up under a blanket on my lap. Right. And that's just not happening up here and I think nope. it I think it just irritates him. Yeah, he hate, he gets he's just mad the whole time. Yeah. He wants to leave. So yeah, we quit we tried. I mean we quit fighting it though. Yeah, we gave up. He's happier. Pip Every dogs, once in a while he'll ask to come out here, but he doesn't stay long when he does. Yeah, he comes out here, grabs a treat and is like, Okay, I'm he's good. Like, Peace out. <laughs> Next question is from PSG. Sounds like a video game console. I find uh, no, that sounds like a um preservative. <laughs> do you use msg or psg to for your right. chinese for your chicken that you're using your chinese whatever okay hi lonnie and candace do you typically regrip the tennis rackets before selling them or sell them as is and let the buyer deal with it choose their own favorite grip cheers julian okay uh good question i typically do let the buyer choose our own grip color because i mean they're going to want to use their own their own thing but i thought it was interesting you asked that question because i bought these two rackets <sighs> how much did i pay for Last weekend? yeah how much i pay you remember i mean it doesn't matter right i don't remember it was a good really good deal i remember that uh but anyways you could see these grips like this this grip i haven't taken off yet but it's this broken down stuff and it gets this black this black stuff off the black foam after it breaks down it's it's disgusting it gets everywhere it's really gross this one had it too i took it off i am going to regrip these two rackets and i never have done that before i typically would not do it these i just knew i didn't want to ship something out that we it was like, messy. That somebody would grab it and then they would like look at their hand. I didn't want them to have that experience. And then you'd have black stuff all in the package. Right. It would just be a big mess. So I I just I am gonna go ahead and buy some cheap grip, cover this, and then they'll probably redo it when they get it, and that's fine. Typically I don't do it though. Um uh, and that that same Could you sell it without it? Yeah, you can, but it looks horrible. 
I want to get. Who's buying a nice racket knows about I know, but I I want to, just in case, like. You're trying to be fancy. No, I want to sell it. I don't want it to sit here for a year. So I figure I'll buy three dollars worth of grip tape and spend twenty minutes grip regripping both of these things. Uh, same thing applies to baseball bats. I don't normally regrip those either. Uh, and sometimes the baseball bat grips can can break down just like that same foam is nasty. Uh, I have shipped some out like that. I don't like doing it though. I actually I don't even like buying baseball bats that are like that anymore. Yeah, uh, they're messy. Yeah, most stuff though, like the answer for most things, I just sell it like I bought it for the most part, except we might knock the dust off of it, wipe it down a little bit and then test it and sell it. I don't like doing a whole lot of work to stuff, making an exception this time. The next question is from Christopher Cousineau. That sounds like a good Cajun name, huh? Uh, especially the way you like put a little extra mustard on it there. <laughs> Oh, you put a little extra hot, no. you put a little extra hot sauce on that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkle a little Tabasco. <laughs> do, you, do you ever feel overwhelmed or pressured to buy the stuff when your guy calls? Even though you may feel you have enough already. Or do you feel like you're just shelling out more money? Do you feel like you just Okay. What do you think about this? I don't that I don't I don't under, quite understand shelling out more money. But what what do you think about that the the question? Um, don't feel, I wouldn't call it pressured. You wouldn't? No. Okay. You, give your answer, then I'll give mine. What would? Um, overwhelmed sometimes, yes, but mm -hmm. that's a good thing, having inventory coming I in. I feel overwhelmed today. Yeah, we have a lot of inventory. We just, we, we bought more. Wait till you see what we bought. <laughs> we bought more. Um, I don't think there's really pressure to buy stuff it's, it's just a given that we're gonna buy it you know so there's not really pressure like we're not having to make a decision usually how do you feel about it okay um i do feel overwhelmed often like not daily but i would say there's candace will probably tell you i get overwhelmed a lot would you agree with that I get yeah. overwhelmed and stressed, stressed pretty stressed. easy. Yeah. I do. I actually do. I have to watch that a lot of times. Um, pressure to buy the stuff when my guy calls. Yes, absolutely. I feel pressured to buy the stuff uh, because I want the relationship to continue. I don't want him to have to search somewhere else to, to, to sell the stuff. I have bought stuff in the past, uh, deals in the past where I bought it. And I did kind of let him know, hey, not really looking for this kind of stuff in the future. I'm going to buy it this time. And he felt, you know, there have been a few times actually where it got a little awkward. Guy, for watching this, I know you know you know the ones I'm talking about. Um, where I didn't really want to buy it, but I bought it. I've done that several, a couple of times. But we've done so many deals. Like, I would say 90% of these deals just work out like, just fantastic and usually they work out better than i even thought they would whenever i bought the stuff yeah and sometimes even some of the ones that i felt pressured to buy they actually have worked out really well too mm -hmm. As a few, like i can only think of, of a couple of times i wasn't like ecstatic with the buy but i yes i do feel pressured to buy everything he offers me to sell i do that's just a fact and you would too if you were dealing if you had the same relationship you would i think you would feel the same way um and if you didn't feel if you've been watching this channel for a while watching us for a while um i think anybody would feel that pressure because you don't like you you have we have to keep this well we want to keep that relationship going um and we want i want guy to feel confident to make deals without having to consult me first to see if I'm going to buy it or not. I trust him. I trust him to make deals that I'm going to like. But then if I don't like it, I'll I'll let him know, but then I'll still buy it. I hope, you know. So yeah. There is some give and take. I want guy to trust me that I'm going to be there for him if he makes a buy intending to sell it to me, then I'm going to buy it. And there may be a conversation I may have to scold guy. No, I'm just kidding. Not scold. <laughs> I'm just kidding. May have to put guy in timeout for a little while. But no, uh, 
Yes. Very, very, very pressured, very overwhelmed. <laughs> That's everything for you. What? Pressure and overwhelmed? overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm pretty much... It's, He's high strung. Am I? Yeah. Maybe a little. Sometimes. About some stuff. I, I am. A little bit. Sometimes. Kind of like Pippin. Yeah. It depends on what <laughs> like it is. like your little routine. <laughs> I'm high strung about things that matter, I think. So... I think it, it's a it's a blessing and a curse. So, yeah. But hey, guy, thank you so much for all the good stuff we get from you. If you're watching this, like I do not mean to like. I was trying to an answer honestly. Uh, that is an honest answer. But we we truly value our relationship with you. Mm -hmm. Good friend too. Yeah, he's become a good friend. Um, that's gonna be it for today. Yeah, that's the end of this video. If you like this kind of stuff, please consider clicking subscribe below. Check the next video. We're going to show you all like a crazy buy we did today. We'll, we'll talk about that in the next one. Um, hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.